Hi, and welcome to Hot Moms Dinner Club, bin seven. So on this week's agenda, we start off with baked fish, homemade macaroni and cheese, and broccoli and carrots. Our next meal is going to be chili, um, a homemade chili that we're going to also have a, a big pot of chili, which is a quick grilled cheese for meal two. And then we're going to have it again in meal four in a little bit of a different way. But meal three on this bin is going to be soy honey marinated chicken breast. And those will be served with rice and then a broccoli stir fry. And then we're going to revisit that chili again for meal four. We're going to have chili cheese dogs with tater tots. All right, so let's hop to it. So meal one, baked fish, homemade mac and cheese, and broccoli and carrots. So the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven, get our water boiling to cook the pasta. Uh, because we're doing a homemade macaroni and cheese, I like to actually do a different type of pasta, not just elbow macaroni. That way everybody knows you made it from scratch. I like to do like a cavatappi. This one is a corkscrew pasta. Just got a little bit more bite to it. And um, like I said, it lets people know that it is definitely homemade. We'll just get that pasta cooking in the uh, water with the oil, salt, and pepper. So our pasta came down. I just rinsed it quickly with the uh, cold water um, to uh, not take away the salt. We just cooked it uh, just shy of being done. That way, as it's baking, it's soaking up some of that nice cheese sauce. We got our cheese sauce. I just put it right back into the same pot that I boiled the pasta in, warming up our can of uh, cheese sauce, uh, cheddar cheese sauce. I'm gonna add just a touch of milk to it. I like to do that just to thin, thin the cheese down a little bit. We'll just bring that up to warm it up. We'll add our uh, pasta in, top it with the cheddar cheese and breadcrumbs and we'll get that baking. Okay, so as soon as our pasta gets in the oven, we wanna get our fish uh, prepared, ready to go in the oven. Um, I went today with the thought of getting tilapia fillets, but they had a great deal on the salmon, and I guess, uh, I guess I've been having a hankering for some salmon. You can do any type of fish you would like. There's often those tilapia fillets, which are individually uh, cryovac uh, Those make a good mild white fish. Spread some oil down on the foil, just to make sure that nothing sticks. I'm going to place my fillets on here. I'm just going to zest some lemon and put some lemon slices on top. Brush it with the oil a little bit again and some salt and pepper. Macaroni in the oven. We've got our fish in the oven. I'm just going to whittle on our carrots here. Hey, look, we graduated to big carrots. I didn't buy baby carrots this week. I peeled these guys and I'm just going to cut them on a bias here real quick. I've got our water going. It's uh, heavily salted, uh, just like when we cooked that cauliflower. Um, I've got my carrots cut here. I'm just gonna pop those on my plate. I'm just gonna drop these in the water to cook first because the broccoli will not take near as long to cook as your carrots. Um, I'm gonna give them about a one minute head start, then I'll throw the broccoli in. This is gonna be a quick, quick deal here, okay? Like we talked about in that cauliflower, as soon as it comes back to a boil, we know our, our vegetables are done. We don't want to overcook them. We want to pull them out real fast, okay? Also, just letting you know, for your stock, you can also save uh, carrot uh, scraps as well. Uh, just don't add too much into your stock because the beta carotene in the carrots can discolor your stock. Plus, you're going to add a lot of extra sweetness to it. So if you save some, uh, don't say broccoli. <laughs> if you save some carrot scraps, uh, go for it. Like I said, just take it easy. Don't put a whole lot in your stock. I'm going to cut up the little florets on the broccoli here. And then we'll drop the carrots in. All right, so here's meal one. Just came out of the oven. Our nice lemon baked salmon our homemade macaroni and cheese. And I just strained the water out from my vegetables. I'm gonna pop them into the bowl, see how they're not overcooked. They still got their nice, vibrant color to them. And the uh, salted water makes them nice and flavorful. You don't need to add anything extra to them unless you wanna put them with some butter, but you got plenty of, uh, of uh, fattening stuff in this macaroni and cheese, so I just kept mine nice and simple. There you have, meal one. 
Um, we're gonna start on the chili. I'm gonna start by sauteing onions with the hamburger, uh, salt and pepper, my chili powder, and then I'm going to uh, strain out that grease and then add in the rest of the vegetables then. So we returned our onions and ground beef back to the pot. I've got all of our peppers uh, cut up here. I'm gonna add those in. That was a whole green pepper. And then on the red and the yellow peppers, remember to save a portion of those, okay? Save a portion of the red and the yellow for the stir fry, okay? And then you've got your celery going in. And then I've also got some uh, fresh jalapeno and uh, I've got some leftover garlic. So I'm gonna throw, uh, you know, a little bit of that in here as well. Um, you know, a fresh jalapeno, half would be more than enough, a couple cloves of garlic if you want. Otherwise, uh, you could also just put in some uh, pickled canned jalapenos or you could just reserve them for the, the top and uh, don't put any jalapeno in the chili. Just depends on, uh, you know, your preference for you and your family. We'll add a little more seasoning into that as well. Look at all that nice color though. I love chili with all these vegetables in it. So our peppers and our celery are starting to soften up here. We're gonna add all of our canned goods in, our uh, tomatoes and our beans and all that. All right, so now we got everything in here for the chili to start working. It just needs to simmer for a while. So we'll add the cilantro at the end again, just like we did in the white bean uh, chicken chili. So now it just needs to, to simmer for a bit. So simmer down. When the chili is close to done, I'm going to make some innovative grilled cheese. Um, we're just gonna make a grilled cheese to serve with the chili based on the extra buns that we have you could do just regular white bread loaf if you if you would prefer to do that and save the the buns for the rest of the hot dogs serve a half of one or a whole one per person based on your liking i just buttered the inside there just get them a little bit browned on that side i'm gonna flip them over and then i'll cheese them and then i'll make the sandwich all right so our chili has simmered down good chili now we're gonna add in our fresh chopped cilantro. And one more thing I like to do, I just like to add in a packet of brown gravy mix. I just add the uh, cold water like it says on the instructions. Just mix it together separate so you don't have to worry about getting any lumps of the gravy in your chili. And then you can just add it in then. I like to do that because it helps mellow out all the acidity that's in your chili. Plus it adds a little bit of body to your chili as well. Now we're gonna let that uh, come back up to a boil again and then simmer for two minutes. And then we'll know that all the uh, uh, thickening agents in here have cooked out and uh, the chili will be ready. I'm just gonna get our grilled cheese ready and our carrot slices. All right, so here we have our chili. So I made a nice bowl of chili. I garnished it with uh, some of the cheddar cheese we had, some of the green onions, a little bit of cilantro. We've got our makeshift grilled cheese sandwiches that we made from the hot dog buns, carrot sticks, and then I put um, jalapeno peppers out with mine and uh, I always put them on the side. That way uh, everybody can just add them as they'd like. All right, meal two. All right, so now we're gonna be working on meal three. This is our honey soy baked chicken breast. We're gonna serve it with rice and broccoli stir fry. So we're gonna do this similar to the fish we did earlier. Uh, I sprayed, at uh, this time I just did pan coating. I just sprayed it, foil, sprayed it again. That way you don't have such a sticky, sticky mess to clean up. Um, in here, there's about a half cup of uh, honey a couple of tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. I'm just gonna lay these chicken breasts out. There's gonna be some extra sauce and I'm gonna show you something you can do with that. If you do go to use this, though, remember you had raw chicken in it, so it has, has to come up to a boil or at least 165 degrees, okay? 
So we got our chicken. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Just don't over season it because you do have soy sauce in there. So you already added quite a bit of sodium to the dish. So just a little bit, that'll go in the oven. The next thing you wanna do is get your rice cooking. And while your rice is cooking, we'll do the vegetables for the broccoli stir fry. So we saved our peppers from mill two when we made the chili. So we got a little bit of red and yellow. We're just gonna julienne these like so. We're gonna make sure our broccoli florets are nice and small. The carrot, you could cut just like the carrot we did uh, for the other dish, or, or if you wanna take any uh, creative freedoms with any of this, you know, feel free to do a different uh, slice, dice, whatever. So once we get all these cut, we're gonna do a quick saute. I happen to have a red onion, so I'm gonna julienne some of that and throw it in as well. If you have any uh, red onion or even white onion, if you want, feel free to add it in. So now we're just gonna whip up our stir fry. Uh, it's gonna be fast, quick, and easy. So we're gonna, I'm gonna start with the red onions that um, I had, so I just decided to throw them in there. You don't have to put the onion in. Then I'm gonna add the carrot, okay? Then the broccoli and the peppers at the end, and then I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of soy sauce, okay? Um, you wanna add them in based on what their cooking time, okay? So those will cook quickly. That's gonna take a little bit longer. We're also going to season it very lightly with salt and pepper since we're going to hit it with the soy sauce. We don't want to over salt it, okay? And then if you have any garlic or any other vegetable that's a good stir fry vegetable, just throw it in. So our vegetables are coming down. These vegetables are still gonna have a whole lot of bite to them. So if you don't want them to be this hard, you'll have to pre-blanch them. But if you pre-blanch them, that makes for more time and all that jazz, and I think they'll be just fine, just like that. Now I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. And while our pan's still hot, I'm going to show you how to make that quick sauce with the leftover marinade, okay? I'm going to put that in. Remember, it needs to come up to a boil, okay, so you can kill bacteria from the raw chicken. As soon as it comes up to a boil, we're just going to whisk in some butter. That's going to make a sweet soy butter sauce that we can put on top of our chicken. So just make sure it comes back up to a boil, but you also don't want to reduce it too much either because you're going to be making it too salty. Once you add in the butter, just kick the heat off. There we go. So our chicken is done. So we're just gonna put a breast of that on top of our rice. Scoop up some of our vegetables there. Just put them right in the center and just let them cascade and fall. Little drizzle of our sweet soy butter and just a little bit. This is this is super concentrated, so you just kind of want to drizzle that. It's not like gravy or anything, okay? And then we got a little bit of green onion there just to dress the plate. And there is mill three, our honey soy baked chicken breast with rice and our broccoli stir fry. And so now for the meal we've all been waiting for, the chili cheese dogs and tater tots. Um, no, just kidding. But uh, seriously though, uh, this meal does take me back to my childhood. Um, one of my first jobs was uh, working at a Sonic, a Sonic car hop. Um, uh, yeah, that was back in the day when I could eat my weight in chili cheese tots and not gain a pound. Anyway, <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, so, um, you know, we're just bringing our uh, hot dogs up here to a boil. We're gonna put them in the bonds. We're gonna cover them with chili, uh, sprinkle cheese on there and bake them. 
Or if you want to, you can make your tater tots, chili cheese tater tots, and just do regular hot dogs. So, you know, you've got a couple of options here, uh, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to choose to do uh, chili cheese dogs and then just straight tater tots. All right. So um, basically, we just need to bring the hot dogs up to a boil and I'm going to get the hot dogs laid out. I'm going to reheat my chili from the other night and uh, get my deep fryer going so we can fry some tater tots. Okay, so our hot dogs have uh, boiled. So we're just going to uh, pop those on the buns, top them with the chili and the cheese. Then you want to pop those in a hot oven like 400 degrees would be just fine. So our chili cheese dogs just came out of the oven and holy shiznicks do those look good. All right, so there it is, bin seven. We started out meal one with our lemon baked salmon. We served that with homemade macaroni and cheese and broccoli and carrots. Then we made a big pot of chili. And the chili that um, we made, we're gonna be using for two different meals. So the first meal, we just did a chili with a quick grilled cheese that we made from our hot dog buns. Yes, our leftover hot dog buns and cheese. Started with carrot sticks and jalapeno peppers uh, to put on the side to top the chili. And then our third meal, was our honey soy baked chicken breast that we served on rice with a broccoli stir fry. And then we just reduced a little bit of that marinade down, mounded it with butter to make a quick, simple sauce to swirl around the outside of the plate. And then last we had our chili cheese dogs. Chili cheese dogs served with tater tots. And so there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me. Hot Mom's Dinner Club.